Did I have a favorite moment when I was in a, as a student? Yes, I did. Um, my freshman year at Stanford, um, I was a terrible student um, because I had come from a high school where I was bored and all I cared about were sports and girls. And um, so I, I, I got into Stanford when you could get into Stanford with a relatively strong pulse and a little bit of uh, pull from your, from your father and so on. Um, so I wind up at Stanford in, in Western Civ with this teacher who just tore me apart day after day after day and, and pointing out my ignorance to me. I think he liked me and saw something in me, but I remember the first time I ever raised my hand and answered a question, he was sitting on a kind of a podium looking down on all of us in the class. And uh, he looked at me after I gave my answer and, and he had got this sneer on his face and he said, what a pedestrian comment. I had to run across the street to the library after class, look up pedestrian. I still didn't quite understand. I knew I'd been insulted. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, every day Daniel Smith, that was his name, would, would point out my ignorance to me. And one day in, in, in the spring of my freshman year, um, there was, the topic was something about Marxism and I had read a little, I was reading everything I could just to show Daniel Smith I wasn't stupid. <clears throat> so I read this thing, this little book by Sidney Hook and he asked a question. <clears throat> And I raised my hand and answered it. And he looked at me and he almost smiled and he went, ah, great moment. Daniel Smith acknowledged that I wasn't a complete idiot. I don't recommend that as a teaching technique, <laughs> but it worked for me and it was a great moment. Yeah. So I guess the, if you can extrapolate from that, the greatness of the moment was a, a teacher affirming a student. And I think probably I, the affirmation could have come sooner, but it doesn't matter. Yeah.